I go to the movies. Yeah. And it is a dark and stormy night. So there are raindrops that you might hear. But that is fine because rain happens. And there is nothing wrong with that. So yeah, I go to the Good Rich Quality Theater. And I saw a movie. It was going to be the scary movie. And it was, um, that, well, there are some jump scares. But it wasn't really all that scary, really. But, oh yeah. And the name of the movie was Unholy. The movie. Sans holes. No holes in this movie. That's not true. But, <laughs> but it stars Negan from The Walking Dead. Let me tell you, that guy is all kinds of charismatic. I loved watching him in this movie. The movie wasn't, wasn't, it's based on some sort of book or something. And it's like, I like the idea of it all, you know? Some of the some of the CG is really bad. Some of it's okay, but some of it's really, really, really bad. <laughs> but I don't know. It's just and there's a girl, and she does real good. Okay, so the story is the the Negan. He is the disgraced journalism's man. And because he made up a story once. Oh no, you can't do it, it's not allowed. So he now works for a, a website for, they do spooky stories or something. It seems like his boss is, is like 20 years old or something, I don't know. So he goes out to learn about the cow that has been mutilated. But it wasn't really mutilated. <laughs> so he starts trying to drum up some business. Finds a creepy doll under the tree. And he's going to make up a story about that. But then, while he's in town, the spooky things start happening. And there's the girl. She is deaf. But now she can hear and perform miracles. And shenanigans ensue. Whoa. So, yeah, there's, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, I, so you're talking about miracles and it's like, okay, miracles are miracles, you know, they're not supposed to be able to happen. So there's the deaf girl does the sign language in the beginning and all that and but she becomes miraculously healed. But not only that, she it's not like she lost her hearing. She's been deaf since birth. She has never heard a voice. But now after she has been healed, she speaks perfectly and is able to sing in Latin beautifully. It's like, wow, that is kind of a miracle. And I don't know, something about it is like, I'll, I accept that that her, she has been healed, you know. But I have a harder time expecting that she all of a sudden has all the vocabulary and knows how to use it and understands the new sounds that her brain is, you know receiving <laughs> something about it just it took me out of it and I don't know why because it's like it's supposed to be a miracle but I don't know it's just it was a little too far for my brain to accept <laughs> ah. like I didn't have a problem with the other miracles that happened in in the movie it's just that one thing I'm like eh <laughs> My brain says no. But anyway, there was some unnecessary jump scares. 
But uh, I thought the acting was good. All the characters. I I think there's there's this creepy higher up priest. I think it's the As You Wish guy from Princess Bride. <laughs> I do like the idea. I don't know. It's almost like they're trying to make two different kinds of horror movie. You know, the newer kind with the jump scares and the, the weird walking creatures. You know, where it's like... It's not, it's not necessarily look like it's stop motion, but it looks like they took frames out of it so that it looks weird. Frames out of the film. You know, so it's herky-jerky and weird looking. And stuff like that. But then there is this other... Which I thought was a lot more interesting movie. <laughs> I kind of... Wish they would have cut that stuff out and just dealt more with the subject matter and the, the tension. You know? But it's like... I don't know. And then... <laughs> the end makes no sense. I'm not going to do spoilers because it's like not an old movie or whatever. And it's not... And I'm not saying this movie is trash. So I'm not like, I don't care. I'm just saying what's happening. But it's like, I found the ending. To be meaningless. So. <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to do with that. Oh. Oh. oh no. An embarrassing human moment was caught in film. But, um. Yeah. So, this movie is going to be thrown into the heap and never be seen again by pretty much everybody but people who are super fans of uh, the guy who plays Negan on The Walking Dead. <laughs> Whatever his name is. Man, he was great in this. He really was very charismatic every time he was on screen it just m made me happy <laughs> but yeah I don't know just uh I wouldn't mind seeing a prequel about the, the lore that would be kind of interesting but yeah so Unholy, the movie. Most people probably will never see it. What can you do? <laughs>